In this video, we'll see how to place the DX Panorama widget from the PhoneJS library onto a web page. This widget is a full screen container that displays a view of items that can be panned side to side. In this video, we'll show how to configure this widget. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Knockout, Globalize, and PhoneJS. I've also referenced PhoneJS styles for each platform so that our application looks native on any platform. To demonstrate how it looks on a native device, I enabled the Ripple emulator. Like any widget from the PhoneJS library, the DX Panorama widget can be added using either the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the Knockout approach. First, we need to add the DX Panorama widget to a page and set up a data source for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing descriptions of food for a restaurant. Let's assign this array to the widget's data source configuration option. Now, let's set a panorama title. And that's it. Let's see how panorama looks with the specified data. As you can see, each pane shows the values of the header and text fields from our data source. Let's add images to each pane. I'll use an array of objects that contain links to food images. Now I'll define the images field for each data source item. To show images in our panorama container, I'll define a custom template for panorama items. I'll add the IMG element and bind its SRC attribute to the SRC field of the item data source. To duplicate the image markup section for each entry in an array, we call the knockout for each binding. In addition, let's add a description before the image section. All right, let's see the result. When you're at one item, you'll be able to see a little bit of the next item as well, a hint that there's more to be explored. When you reach the far side of the panorama, you can keep going to wrap around to the beginning again, saving time. Finally, let's show the alert message when clicking the panorama item. For this purpose, I'll define a function for the item click action option. I'll use the PhoneJS dialog alert to show data. To access the current item object, use the item data field of the function's parameter. As you can see, we can now get information about an item when clicking it. Then, you can use it to navigate to another page. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.